Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be nesting for loops. Now, nesting for loops is very fun. If you have multi-dimensional arrays, you can use the same logic as the prior waypoint to loop through both the array and any subarrays. Here's an example. They have the variable of array, and in it there is um, the position zero, there's an array of one, two, and in position two, there's an array of three, four. Position three, there's a position of five, six. Uh, for variable i is equal to zero, i is less than array dot length, i plus plus. So we're just iterating through here, zero, one, two. And then for each one, we're going to be iterating through and console logging out the position. So array at position i, say i is zero and j is zero. Position i is zero. And then so then we're in this array and then in position j and j is zero, then we're here. Then we just console log the number one. So basically this is just going to log out one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the outputs, this outputs e each sub element in array at one time. Note that the inner loop, we are checking the length of the array at position i, since i is itself an array. Modify the function multiply all so that it multiplies the product variable by each number in the sub array of arrays. So, whereas, <clears throat> okay, cool. So let's say console.log. Um, multiply all, and then I'm just going to make it an array of with just one. Now the product should be equal to one. Log, multiply all, multiply all. Okay, and uh, because I've got double brackets in there, we're not getting readout. Multiply all. Oh, this shouldn't be brackets. This needs to be a parenthesis. Not a parenthesis. Yeah. Okay, so the product is one. Let's say we change this to two when our product would be two. So we're trying to alter this. Well, we want to start with a product of one because if we start with zero, nothing on earth we could do would get us to outside of there because zero times anything is equal to zero. And so our first step is we want to create a for loop. So we want to say for the, um, let's call a variable of i is equal to zero. So we're just starting at the zeroth position. Um, i is less than array dot length. So this array is one, zero is one, two, three. Um, let me do this array dot l a n g t h. And then i is plus equals one. And that's just going to cause it to iterate through the array. And so we're working out here. Console.log. If we do um, this is the array that they're passing in, right? I just want to talk you through this really quickly. Okay, so if we were to console log out this array, we need a parenthesis here. Console log out this array. Now, if we could do dot length, that gives us three. So zero, uh, one, two, three. So the, uh, the array has a length of three, so we're gonna run it three times. And then on the inside, within each one, we want to iterate each element. Um, let's say I'm going to console.log out here, um, i, and you'll see that it goes zero, one, two. Now, we can go um, the array, which means the array that's being passed in, and then we're passing in the value of i. So the array at zero is one, two, and then at, at, at uh, element one, it's three, four, and at element um, two, it's element, it's five, six, six, and seven. Now what we want is to be able to multiply all these numbers together. So we want to make another for loop. So we go for variable j is equal to zero, and then j is less than um, array at i dot length, right? Because we want to have two when there's a length of two. And then we say j is plus equal to one. And now our product should be times equal to a, the array at i and j. And so now our product, if we were to console log this, And then we get rid of this console log because it's crowding it up. 
5,040. I wonder if that's the right answer. Okay, looks like that is the right answer. And so, uh, yeah, you can get rid of these console logs. They're not necessary. And uh, if you were to run the tests now, that would pass. Um, I hope me going into detail about that sort of helps. If you were to console log out array i and uh, j, <clears throat> you would see that it's, uh, this is the position. So this is actually um, the number. So we're passing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's where these are coming from. And that's why, and then if we were to, this is, um, you know, array elements. And then if we were to console log here, the product, meaning product before being multiplied, what you'd see that we'd get, so this is one times one, and then one times two, uh, it makes it so it's two, and then times three, times uh, four, yeah, two times four, something, array element. Okay, so four times two is six, no. Two times three is six. Anyways, that's how it's iterating through. And then seven times 120, I don't know. Anyways, somehow it, it's, it's going up through there. This all should make a little bit more sense. Basically what we're saying is it's coming through, product is equal to one, and it's coming through and it's saying one times one is one. One times two is two. Two times three is six. Six times four is um, 20, 12, 24. 24 times five is 120. 120 times um, uh, seven or six is equal to 720 and then 5,040. And that's how we're getting this response. So I hope that this helps me go in a little bit more in de detail. This is called a nested loop. This is, um, you know, really great basic uh, programming. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in the next lesson.